I've had jewellery handmade. Encased my feet in custom designed shoes. And had suits tailored to fit. Ah, but the ultimate indulgence must surely be a customised set of wheels. You probably expect a car like this to have been crafted by Ferrari, Lamborghini or Lotus. But you'd be wrong. The Vector Aztec WX3 was born in the USA. The United States has tried before to crack that elite market dominated by Europeans, but the Aztec is probably their best shot yet. And what better way to design the ammunition than by using technology that's sitting right on the doorstep? This isn't automotive engineering, it's aeromotive. After all, it seems logical for a Southern Californian car maker to have spent most of their working lives in Naples. Others have come from the motor racing industry, and this unique blend of skills makes for a very different approach to car making. An approach reflected by the engineering and construction technique of the car's chassis. The semi-monocoque chassis is made by hand from a master jig. Now that's the sort of precision usually reserved for making aircraft and rockets. Its aluminium skin is fixed with the finest aircraft rivets money can buy. There's three and a half thousand dollars worth of rivets alone. The floor pan is cut from this laminated honeycomb, the same stuff that's used to cover the wings of jumbos. It's light, but so strong I could drive a truck over it and it wouldn't compress. Keeping it light certainly wasn't the top priority for the car maker, but it's not every day that I can do this. Practically everything else is hand welded and hand milled from aluminium and stainless steel, held together with gold and cadmium plated nuts and bolts. else has ever attempted to build a car that is built like a spacecraft. It's a car that will last forever because we uh, do make it corrosion free and use the best materials you can find and so it will always be like a jewel. A jewel that can certainly turn heads. But just like a diamond, behind Avtec's beauty lies an enormous strength. The outer skin is constructed from a tough composite material of resin, sheets of Kevlar and S-glass fibres. For areas that need extra reinforcing, like the door panels, sheets of carbon fibre are added. As befits an aeromotive supercar, Vector expects the Avtec to achieve low flying speeds of around 400 kilometres per hour. And it will accelerate from 0 to 100 in just over three seconds. The power comes from a specially designed and surprisingly narrow 4-cam 32-valve 7-litre V8, capable of 700 plus brake horsepower. Testing has shown much lower cylinder head temperatures, which indicate that more of the combustion is happening inside the engine, which means it's also cleaner burning. How fast have you taken it? I've taken this car to over 130 miles an hour. It's, uh, we don't like to go that fast in it normally because it's our only one, so we kind of keep it under the speed limit most of the time. If you enjoy the thrill of fast cars, driving the Avtec is a buzz. Actually sitting behind the wheel is like being in the cockpit of a jet fighter. A liquid crystal display monitors the car's vital signs, revs and speed. There's also aircraft circuit breakers and military specification switches. It all leaves you feeling more like a Top Gun pilot than a mere driver. Just keep your eye on the rear airfoil for a moment. <laughs> it won't be hard because you'll never overtake me.
like the wing of an aircraft, the driver can convert the spoiler from a low drag airfoil at high speeds to an inverted tailfoil at lower speeds or for cornering. The Avtec may have the contours of a great white shark, but will it be the formidable machine its look suggests? Or, coming from the home of plastic surgery, is this Californian car more show than go? It will cost you a cool $800,000 to find out, but with only 15 or 20 expected to be built per year, You'd better be quick. You trust me? Of course I trust you.